We're coming towards the end of our third week here at Sandy Hook and uh, the site's, um, site's looking really good. Um, blessed by the weather, again, not a cloud in the sky. Um, we're on to uh, the raised beach over uh, most of the site that we've excavated so far. Walking up this way past the, uh, the sort of uh, the outer line of stones um, and uh, then on to more of the raised beach and uh, we dug into it a bit um, up at the top end here just to basically check that we're through where there's any sort of human activity and uh, down into the uh, uh, the raised beach uh, proper where um, it was still you it was a resource um, certainly um, flint nodules were were collected from the raised beach and uh, and then used it in later prehistory there's a good example here holding these bits of paper down um, that would have been uh, probably quite an attractive uh, piece of raw material here that's a, a nodule from the raised beach that was split by the mattock um, we've also since last week um, done a little extension off the side of the trench here to try and sort out um, what what relationship the uh, the dolmen the structure has to the raised beach um, I mentioned last week the 1912 report said that uh, it was built directly on it and um, it is virtually there's a very thin layer of um, of occupation material on top of the raised beach um, but the the biggest stones the uh, uh, the big support stones like this one here are virtually on the beach I've been quite puzzled about um, these smaller stones in the front here um, whether they've been sort of jammed in later they're, they're not supporting the stone they're not triggering it up as I first thought but they're definitely meant to be there they are um, they are set into the raised beach deposits uh, less certain about the ones either side which are a bit higher up in the section but definitely those were were meant to be there um, it also that little extension gives us a, a chance to have a bit of a closer look at this big slab here which has had a uh, it's moved around a lot um, looking back at the, uh, the photos such as we have from the um, uh, the earlier excavation uh, the slab is is here on this photo it's actually um, in between it's standing in through in this gap here um, and then at some point it was uh, it fell down or it was uh, it was knocked down removed and then on the, uh, that picture of the excavation uh, it's here in the foreground it's been moved away from the front of the tomb and then on one of the later pictures which must show the site when it was uh, in the process of being backfilled um, it's more or less in in the position that uh, that you see it in today, sloping in front of the tomb. So, so it's moved around a fair bit. So all in all, a very uh, productive uh, two and a half days of digging. And um, next week we'll uh, uh, we don't have any more digging to do up this end of the trench. So it's recording, planning, and so on early next week, and then we'll move down to the what's really the main focus in a way, uh, opening up the bigger area uh, down at the, the south end of the site.